Eric Burbage, welcome to the Empower Network TV. Yeah, thank you. I, uh, when you got on, I was like, okay, nice haircut and sharp dress. <laughs> now, for those of you that haven't met Derek, Derek is, uh, well, I'm going to let you say exactly what you do, but you certainly help facilitate uh, men finding and discovering what the right professional wardrobe is for them. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about what you got on, what got you on this journey, Derek. Yeah, it's a fun one. Uh, um, so I've been married almost nine years, been nine years next month. Um, and for my wedding, I had guys who were six, six, all the way down to five, five, like, I don't know how much they all weighed, but a buck 50, but way above that. So basically what we did is we we're going around all these stores, trying to find something that fit all these guys and then realizing we're just, it's not going to happen. So we rent it. And then three days before the wedding, the rental comes in, you try it on. And if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. You're just out of luck. So I kind of went through that whole process. I realized I got a lot of bad advice throughout when it came to the style advice that I got. So I went through scouring the internet, trying to find what worked and, and how to actually do this. And that's when I discovered all these mistakes I was making. So my wedding day comes, uh, I didn't look very good on my day. The suit was too big. The pants were too long. Um, fun story that's with the haircut too. Three days before the wedding, I went to a place I went to quite a bit and they see number three and they just buzz my head right down the middle. So three days before my wedding, I got my head buzzed too. So uh, it just makes it for a really good before photo now that I share the after photo of myself. Um, so we went through that whole process. And when my wife and I, after the wedding, it's the Sunday, we're just relaxing, realizing I got to send the suit back because it has to be back the day after the event. And I'm exhausted. I don't want to go into a store to drop something off. So another just tick against it. So we go to Thailand of all places for our honeymoon down to Phuket and I had no interest in getting a suit or anything like that and the guy on the street just says hey you're from Canada I'm like yeah he goes Vancouver I'm like how how does he even know this like I'm looking at myself like what do I have on me that gave that away I'm like he, he kind of caught me so I went in the store right away I see all these fabrics I see all these customization booklets and I'm just a kid in the candy store I've always loved men's fashion never on the professional side as much uh clearly based on my history of trying to buy suits for the wedding but Going through all that and then that process, he gets it on me and it, it fits perfectly. I got to customize everything. It was a pretty cool experience. So as we're going through this, I, I have a very entrepreneurial mind and I came back and within a couple hours of me starting up back at my job, I'm taking things, anything I can, I had blank paper and I'm writing notes on the back of how I wanted to start this and what I wanted it to be. So that was uh, 2014. I quit end of 2015 to start doing this. And now we're coming up on eight years in, and it's just been amazing to see the growth that comes out of you when you put yourself in a position like that. And then the highs and lows that come just kind of shape you as well. What a story. And so you're in Phuket and this guy identifies you somehow Vancouver, right? Yeah. And then you pulls you in. So you must have seen a lot of fabrics and colors and been treated to a service you've never experienced before. Yeah, and that's something that, you take that experience and I started working with that guy, but then I realized how many lever levels it was with him alone. So I go to him, he goes to somebody else who goes to a supplier, goes to a fabric. Like there's so many stages. I'm like I can't do this because the margin is crazy here. The amount of people whose hands are on it. I don't trust the quality of, of what he gave me. The fit was great. The quality, maybe not so much. So I, I wanted to make sure that I was going to someone I trusted. And that's where I just started looking around to all these different vendors and suppliers and just building it out for myself and seeing what I can make of it. And that's where it took me probably a good year of trying all these different fabrics and, and sampling different people to find what really worked for me. So when you're, when your dudes get, get their suits on, you know, and they come in now you obviously, so you measure them all up, stuff gets created wherever it's created. And then they get final alterations. Does that happen in, okay. What is it? What is their experience? Cause I've never had a tailored suit. What is there? What do they say to you when they put it on? It's kind of fun to see this kind of happen where people kind of come in shoulders front and then they kind of just stand up and they stand a little taller. So these guys come in and a lot of them, a lot of our market is people who are buying a navy or a charcoal suit because they need it for their wedding. They need it for like just a go to suit. They want to start doing job interviews. We've had people who said, I'm starting an online dating profile and I want to look better. So those are the fun ones that you kind of come in and you help them understand how it's supposed to fit. And then you kind of go through the process of them of explaining things and guiding it. But when they get that first time on and it fits like perfect to them, like you can kind of see them stand different, look different. Like the look in their eyes gets a little different. That's the, the best part of what I do hands down is seeing people 
just kind of big smile on their face. Guys who just can't fit things because one reason or another. It could be one leg's longer than the other. It could be they're, they got a belly. It could be they sh change shape whether up or down. There's a lot of different reasons why guys can't fit off the rack stuff. And we cover the cost of alterations if it comes in and there's something that's a little bit off. We want to make sure that they're happy when they leave. So that's the, the, the best part of what I, what I do is seeing guys try it on. It's nice to know, as you said, when you can do something that helps someone feel good about them, yeah, that's not a trite thing. That's a, that's a significant thing because that affects their relationships, their work, their kids, their finances. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can un understand why. Cause like I buy a certain, I buy currently two classic t-shirts because they fit me. Yeah. Other t-shirts were always too big in the whatever. Anyway. So, so what, what, what range are we talking? Like, do you have something for everybody? Do you, are, do you specialize in a niche? How does this work? Yeah. So we position ourselves more along the lines of you go to say, um, like an off the rack chain, like a department store or something and try something on, not really where our market is. We take 21 measurements. So a lot of people start out there, then they realize there's made to measure and they move more into something and then they have a bad experience there, realize the quality isn't as good as with some companies. And then they kind of move into us. So our price points are 849 to 1299. Um, that's in person. And we have a really good offer online for people as well, who are international, mainly North America is obviously where we target it. But we built that offer out just to get people started on a navy suit white shirt and it's a higher quality you're taking those 21 measurements and we're coming in to make sure that we're happy with it so our, our clients across north america we want them sending photos once they try it on because a lot of guys don't know how it's supposed to fit so some guys can look at it and go the sleeve came down to here like on my my knuckles that, that's right isn't it and i'm like no that's not right so if they measure wrong then we come in and say okay we'll get a replacement in for you as soon as possible and then we ship one out to them as well shirts Cufflinks, do you do ties? You yeah, full yeah, service. So it's dress shirts, dress pants, suits, tuxedos, jackets, blazers, sport coats, vest, waist coats, uh, like cufflinks, ties, pocket squares, bow ties. Yeah. So you oh. really are <laughs> you really are helping men just uh, level up. Yeah, and our favorites yeah. are the ones that come to us and say, "I want us to start building properly. I don't want just one. I want one that fits, and then we just continue to build from there." So we start with like a navy suit, a charcoal suit. If you're wearing them all the time. We can build out like five suits and, and just continue on from there. If you're wearing it every now and then, we'll get one kind of staple piece. So you're going to a funeral that isn't something like really flashy or a formal event. You can wear something that kind of, that fits you well and it fits the situation. If you want something a little flashy, we can get something else on top of that as well. So like this, like I got a linen light blue on right now. This is something I'll wear spring, summer, um, but I'm not going to be wearing this to every single event I go to. Now I got to ask out, is your wife involved in your business? Is it you guys together or what? No, she's, she helps with the uh, emotional support <laughs> of being a business owner. Um, but yeah, like she gives me the space so much to be able to do what I do. And I'm so grateful. Like I have an appointment tonight where I'll be out past dinner. So she comes home late from work. She makes dinner and then starts getting the kids ready for bed. Then I come back home and kind of help her finish that off. So like she's a huge support and a huge help. I want her to kind of come in a little bit more but with the position we're at right now she loves what she does so we're at the place where maybe eventually i keep bugging her about it but right now yeah she's just the emotional support mainly and how much of a significant impact has she made being your emotional support on this journey so that you can go out and you know slay the giants what what has she done for you like the most calm patient person like if i have a really rough day or rough weekend she's like the best She's very supportive. She's very helpful. I'm the one who, like, I, I can get really frustrated and, and annoyed just based on the situation that's going on. And she's the one to kind of calm me down or just kind of give me that space. And she's given me that space now for eight years. Like, it's like it's amazing to see how supportive and loyal she's been, even in my rough years or rough months. Like, she's she's the one there helping and being very very supportive. So, a really good sounding board. Like, having that, if if she wasn't like that, this business wouldn't have gone past year two or three. So just to see where we're at right now, like the the best. So it's nice to see she was the at the very start of this journey, going through the whole rental experience with me, going to Thailand, obviously, and getting everything set up. But um, yeah, it's like she is the best partner I could ever ask for. And her her experience would be so different than yours on the other side, behind Absolutely. the scenes, in Phuket with you you're in the store with her she's mm -hmm. watching you like a kid in the candy shop yeah, yeah 
And then you tell her, I want to do this. And then you guys, you know, you're married, you have, uh, you know, you have a family. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what her experience would be like watching you walk this out and being that emotional rock for you. That's, that's yeah, fascinating. We'll, we'll co-write a book in a few years and we'll have that whole story out. Cause it is true. Like there's my side of it. And there's times I feel like I'm just such in a crunch and in pressure and doing this and doing that. But like behind the scenes, she is too. Like there's times where we go through COVID and suddenly it's like, who needs a suit during COVID? And we had to go through and manage those years. So we had those hard conversations. Like, what does that look like? So we have to be a team through it, but obviously she has her whole perspective on it as well. Team A, isn't it amazing how much we can get accomplished with others when we navigate relationships healthily and value, constantly value and affirm others, blow the wind in the sails that they need, mm. just like you need it. Yeah. Can you drop your website here, socials? What it, People need to know where to find your stuff, Derek. Yeah, like we're all over socials. We're actually just about to blitz. Um, I, I'm creating a couple hundred videos right now uh, that we're going to be putting out over the next year on like different channels. So <clears throat> it's carderoclothing.com, C-A-R-D-E-R-O clothing.com. And then Cardero Clothing on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn is the probably the most active one I'm on right now, my personal. Um, so you can find me there as well. Um, we got YouTube shorts. We're doing quite a bit on there as well, just because that's where a lot of attention is. So obviously that's great for us to be where the attention is, but at the same time, we're doing a lot of teaching videos. I actually thought the other day of all the videos I'm creating, so much of it is teaching and it isn't really a sell pack. So maybe we need to do a little bit more of that, but, um, yeah, a lot of content coming out just to kind of teach guys how to dress. Cause they just don't know. I don't know how many guys come in and say, look, I don't know what colors go together. I don't know how this is supposed to fit. Is it supposed to have shoulder pads? Is it supposed to be boxy? Is it supposed to be this, this? I get all those questions all the time. So the goal is just at the very least, if they're client or not, just understand how a suit should look, how a dress shirt should look, how to build a proper wardrobe, how to put things together properly. And if you're learning how to do that, like whether it's with us or someone else, I mean, you can really change your whole appearance. You can change your, your life. And I don't want to be too dramatic with it, but it is the truth. Like if you look good, you feel good. Others notice, you notice. It can really change your life. So that's really where we're going with a lot of this too. And, and when it comes down to the end of the day, the main goal is the fit. If you can have something that fits you properly, you can start to break style rules. You can make mistakes, but people see you in something that looks good. So they think you're a trendsetter or they think that like this is a new way to do things. So it, the fit is hands down the most important part. And that's one thing we talk about quite a bit. Well, it's a principle of life. What you said, if the fit is right, life opens up. It's the same if you're in the right job, in the right vocation, when you're mm -hmm. fitted with the right partner, your life opens up. You are helping people's lives open up. That's just the reality of it. That's what you're doing. That's amazing. And that was carderoclothing.com, correct? Cardero yep. Clothing is yep. C-A-R-D-E-R-O clothing.com. Mm -hmm. If you have watched, been watching the Empower Network TV, you've been listening to Derek Burbage tell his fascinating story from vancouver to phuket to the kid in the candy store to the challenging years of covid to his wife's support and the family and what it's like to partner and in, in a healthy way where both people are winning and yet looking at different sides of the coin but both people are winning mm -hmm. beautiful beautiful is there anything you'd like to leave before we wrap up here derek no i just think this is great i think the biggest thing people are missing right now is just a sounding board or something someone to kind of some a lot of people really to help them through all the hard times so this is great and if people are going through those hard times there's so many people to reach out to and don't be prideful don't just be humble and, and reach out because all of us have gone through hard times i'm going i go i do this in my business you have a fire you just put out and then two more come next week so it's definitely not something you're doing wrong and you're definitely not alone in it so don't think that you have to have it all figured out because i think the world tries to pretend like we all have it all figured out and no one does None of us got figured out. Just some people pretend better than others. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Derek. If you've been watching the Empower Network TV and you've appreciated what Derek had to share, reach out to him. I'm going to tag Derek in this, tag you, Derek, in this, yeah, and then okay. cardarrowclothing.com. Um, I'm going to go check it out myself. Thanks so much, Derek. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah. Okay. Chat soon. All right. Bye.